where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Joshua is one of my favorite Bible characters. He's Moses' sidekick throughout Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. When first we see him in Exodus 17, he's leading the first army of Israel against the Amalekites, while Moses holds up God's staff at the top of a hill, and Aaron and Hur hold up his hands. Joshua not only experiences victory and triumph that God gives him that day, but he was beside Moses in everything, learning from him, observing his relationship with the Lord, and cultivating a relationship of his own with God. God prepared him throughout this 40 years for his leadership of the Israelite people as they enter the Promised Land. One of my favorite verses about him during this time is Exodus 33, 11. So the Lord spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend, and he would return to the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, did not depart from the tabernacle. It wasn't Aaron or one of the priests who stayed at the tabernacle in God's presence, but Joshua. This reminds me of numerous places in the Psalms where the psalmist declares that he would love to spend his life in the tabernacle of the Lord forever. Joshua actually did that. Living in the presence of the Lord, Joshua learned more and was trained to lead God's people when Moses handed over the reins to him. Just thinking about living in the presence of the Lord, don't we do that today? We can come into his presence in prayer at any time. Unlike Old Testament people, we have access to the throne room of heaven. Not only that, but we have the Holy Spirit who dwells in us and with us. And we have God's word to listen to so that he can speak to us through it. We don't have to be Jewish, live in Jerusalem, and go to the temple to be able to spend time with God either. God wants us to spend time with him. And that time can be the highlight of each day. Do you crave his presence? Do you wish you could spend time in his presence more than you do? Our lives can get pretty busy. I know certain seasons of my life have been busier than others. Having babies and preschoolers limited my time significantly. I remember many times getting up early to spend time with the Lord, and as soon as I sat down and reached for my Bible, a baby would wake up and start crying. It was literally impossible to get a few minutes alone with the Lord. But I encourage you, when you see a time opening up for you, intentionally don't fill it with other things. Leave it vacant and spend time in prayer or in God's Word. Schedule a daily time slot to meet with God and make it a priority. Don't let it fill up with other things. And when you have spare time, grab it. Make that time holy. A turning point in my life came when a mother of four told me that when she would find a space in her day, no matter how small, she would make sure not to waste it, but to automatically sit down with her Bible and spend time with God. I tried it and totally got hooked. Now my kids always know where to look for me. In my God chair, as they call it. And you can remember that the Lord is beside you every step of your day. You can turn the radio off and talk to him in the car. You can talk to him while you do dishes, run the vacuum cleaner, mow the lawn, or any of those daily chores. Living in God's presence isn't hard. It just needs to be intentional. How do you live in God's presence? I'd love to hear from you. You can contact me at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. I'm Carla Early. Thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.